Murphy. What's up to Lion Talk Live? So we love you too, buddy. What's going on, guys? It is Aiden Hutchinson. What's up, man? It's your boy, Amon Ross St. Brown. What's up, everybody? It's Calvin Johnson Jr. here, a.k.a. Megatron, a.k.a. First Ballot. What's going on, Coach Dan at Lions Talk Live and the Duke Crew? This is Ball Hawk, the father of the of the Detroit Lions. Everybody make sure you help support the YouTube channel, Lions Talk Live, by clicking that like and subscribe button. Let's get it and go Detroit. Greetings and salutations to everyone out there in YouTube land. This is Dan Skipper, offensive weapon for the Detroit Lions. Make sure you all help support Lions Talk Live and Coach Dan by clicking on that like and subscribe button. Everybody, woo! I love nothing more than watching Lions Talk Live every morning. Woo! All right, well, greetings and salutations to everybody out there in YouTube land. I am your host once again, Dan Thornton, and I want to thank you all for joining us here today. Hey, almost noontime, Eastern Standard Time, Lions Talk Live. It's a little bit past 11 a.m., and not a huge story, not breaking news, nothing like that. But we did get an update this morning from gambling man Dan Campbell himself in regards to the Lions' uh, pursuit of a, play, of, of a pass rusher to help replace Aiden Hutchinson. As you guys all know, hey, last weekend's game against Minnesota Vikings, <clears throat> great game, ended well. Jake Bates hits the 44-yarder, basically puts the team in position where they almost can't lose, etc. cetera. Uh, Lions win, but you could tell. Throughout the game, you heard the commentators talking about it. You heard the Lions people, whether it was me or whoever else commentating during the broadcast. Lions really need to get a pass rush, something going, so Aaron Glenn isn't forced to blitz. Glenn, as you know, blitzed way more of that game than he ever had in a different game this season. Uh, I want to say on nearly 50% of all the passing plays, he was sending guys after him because he knew the secondary, especially if you're going to play man-to-man, it's going to be hard to hold up over a long haul if you can't get pressure on the quarterback. Give a lot of credit to credit is due, but I know a lot of you guys in the morning show wanted me to give you some updates. So I've been making some uh, calls, inquiries, texts, etc. But then <clears throat> Dan Campbell came on out and offered one. Uh, and I'm going to give you guys some quotes here directly from this morning's radio broadcast. Brad's been grinding on this ever since last week, said Dan Campbell. He's been going and looking at really everything that could potentially be available. And so much of it is making calls, he added. The rumor mill, as you guys all know, one of them was having Max Crosby come over to Detroit. Now, let's walk through the Crosby situation because a couple days ago he came out and said, hey, I'm a, and I'm paraphrasing, I'm a Raider through and through. I've got, you know, I'm no intention of leading Las Vegas. But with that also being said, just days before, he said he didn't want to be a part of a rebuild, et cetera. I'm not here to really talk about that at all because I don't have an update on Max Crosby. I do have an update on some other possible targets. So let's dive into some of those. Let me bring them up on the screen, and we're going to go through one of them in time. So these are the guys I got some information on or updates, however you want to term it, this morning. We're going to start on this, and hey, I want to give my mom a lot of credit here. She's been out there hustling. I talk about her a lot on this show. She was out there walking all over, heading around, kicking cans, knocking people down, and hey, Get, trying to get the inside detailed information for you guys. All right, so in regards to one of them, uh, as you guys know, we talked about this uh, about two weeks ago on Lions Talk Live. Lions uh, had conversations with the former number one overall pick, and that's uh, Walker from the Jaguars, about potentially coming on over. This is total speculation, but it does sound like there is at least some validity to this that the, if the Jags were to continue some of their sell-off, you'd be looking at a 2025 fourth round pick and a 2025 six, or excuse me, a fourth round pick. So 2025, 2026 fourth round picks. If you were to go after them, I'm not here to say that that is or isn't going to happen. That's just a scuttlebutt. And again, it does sound like the Jags are in a bit of a sell off mode talking about sell offs. We brought this up a little bit on the morning show. I did some more diving into it. There are more and more, um, Tidbits of information, as you can see, about Pro Bowl pass rusher Landry of uh, Harold Landry, I should say, is available for trade and is highly sought off of by multiple contenders. Landry has been strongly linked to the Detroit Lions, Atlanta Falcons, San Francisco 49ers, and the Washington Commanders by front office personnel. Uh, he did record 12 and a half sacks in his last 17 games. So we talked about him a little bit more in depth on the morning show, but just real quick. To me, if he comes on in, he's your new Sam Backer. And on obvious passing downs, just like I think would be the case with Max Crosby, he would be released. Uh, he'd be an end, go after the quarterback. That's why I'm not so sure if either guy are strong fits here. 
it does seem like the Lions coaching staff is really enamored with Trevor Nowoski, who you got for nothing. You brought him on in, uh, you let him go to Arizona. Now he's back here, and he is making some plays. We've talked about it <clears throat> with his PFF grades. He's had one elite score in his three games. He had one score that is very, very good, or nearly in another one. Uh, the other score, the third game one, was a very good score, just not nearly elite. All right, then the big one. I know everybody was asking this morning for an update, and I believe yesterday too. So I did some Scooby doing. I did some calls, and you know what? 22 hours ago, Sports Illustrated did have an update about the Lions. You know, the story we first reported on Lions Talk Live about two days ago about could the Lions make a huge trade offer for Brown Superstar? And yes, that is Miles Garrett. And yes, there's other information from Athlon Sports, et cetera, about the, you know, everybody's reporting this one about Smith potentially coming to the Lions, uh, Zadarius Smith coming to the Lions. He's in apparently a lot of different teams' wish lists. Could both guys still come on? So I made some calls, did the text, got into the Discord group with a lot of the Lions media personnel, and what they're saying, it's still holding true. The Browns want Hendon Hooker. The Lions do not want to give up Hendon Hooker. They also, the Browns want the 2026 second-round pick of the Lions. The Lions do not want to surrender that. So until one side budges a little bit or some common ground is found with both, you're probably not seeing that trade happen. At least that's what I have right now. Obviously, there's still over a week to go into the trade deadline. I would say this. We want to pay attention to this weekend's game. The Lions really can't get to the quarterback if they can't put pressure without blitzing so much like they did this past weekend. Uh, then that probably does increase the desire of the Detroit Lions to go after another edge. Keep in mind, Aaron Glenn's unit blitzed on 20 of 20 or 35, 20 out of 35 uh, dropbacks for Sam Darnold. That's a ton. I mean, you are sending extra dudes a lot, which, again, if you have faith in your secondary, you can do it. But if that blitz doesn't get home, that secondary, you're asking a whole lot out of them. So, all right, if there is some other breaking news later today, I'll get it over to you. If you guys have any thoughts on this, leave it in the comment section. I'll try to get it when possible. I got a lot lighter work day today than I did yesterday, so I'll try to you know keep everybody up to date as quick as possible. Take care. Enjoy your day. Do something kind for somebody you don't know. Be a good human being, and we'll see you all on the next Lions Talk Live. Take care, everybody. Happy trails to you Until we meet again